when I was an undergrad, I was lucky enough to sort of fall into working in a lab. You know, I had, I had no idea what research really meant or really looked like. I think I assumed that I wouldn't like research because I had no idea what it really was. And then once I was actually doing it, I learned um, how much I enjoy it. I'm Jessica Sweesman. I'm a grad student in clinical psychology. Usually people's initial reaction is, oh, so you must be analyzing me right now. Um, but really being a grad student in clinical psychology means we do learn to work with patients that are struggling with um, psychological difficulties or mental illness. And we see patients as part of our training. But the other part of it, and, and at many times a bigger part of it, is, is doing research um, in areas related to clinical psychology. So for me, I was doing research in the area of eating disorders. As an undergraduate here at MSU, I took a Psych 101. Um, I happened to sit by somebody in class that was a undergraduate research assistant in one of the labs in the department that I ultimately ended up working in. That lab studied eating disorders using twins and is the lab I ended up staying in for grad school. So that was, that was Dr. Kelly Klump, my mentor's lab. We couldn't do our work without graduate students. I mean, and that's just the truth of scientific research. Most of scientific research, if not all of scientific research, is done in collaboration between a senior faculty member and a whole group of students. And she was really the reason I chose to stay at MSU for grad school. So when you're picking a graduate school, at least in clinical psychology and a lot of the sciences, it's a little bit different than when you're picking um, where to go for undergrad because you're, you're really choosing a mentor to work with and somebody that has research interests that sort of match what you want to do. To get a binge eating. The twin stuff I sort of knew I would be doing from the get-go because that was sort of um, one of the things that drew me into Kelly's lab was that they had these twin studies running and that I would have access to those data sets. Um, but learning how to actually run the twin models and, and everything that it entails was a huge part of my training um, yeah, and good. something I don't think I could have gotten elsewhere. It leave enough wiggle room for a. I think long term my goal is to be in sort of an academic medical center where I'm able to do some research and also able to, to see some patients because I think if I didn't have a little bit of both, I would miss it. Research is definitely definitely adventure. That's a great way to describe it because it, it never goes exactly like you planned. There's always something that comes up that you have to sort of improvise. Um, something doesn't work out the way you planned it to. You've got to figure out a way to get enough participants in your study. Um, it, it's definitely an adventure. That's a great way to describe it.